In this lesson, we'll talk about one of the most crucial first steps in Parabola, actually pulling in your data. If I scroll over to the integrations tab here, you'll see a whole bunch of different data sources that Parabola can pull from, places like CSV files, Google Sheets, different sales channels like Shopify, databases, APIs, so on and so forth. As you're getting started in Parabola, we strongly encourage you to start by pulling in that data from someplace like a CSV file, an Excel file, or Google Sheets. That's going to be the fastest and easiest way for you to get your data into Parabola so you can start transforming it and we can always worry about different integrations later. I'm going to go ahead and search for CSV and we can drag this pull from CSV step right onto the canvas or drop it directly onto a card so that we can start organizing our workflow. If I double click here to open our step, you're going to see we can drop a file right on in here. So I'm going to go and drop some inventory data that I downloaded. And pretty quickly, you'll see that Parabola pulls in this data. We can see we're working with 40 rows and eight columns of data here, and we are ready to start transforming this data. Now, if you don't have a CSV file ready to roll, no worries. If you scroll down on this page in Parabola University, there will be a sample data set that you can go ahead and download, and we'll use that data set for the duration of this course in the sample data challenge associated with Parabola University. Now that we have pulled in data from a CSV file, going to quickly review a couple other methods for getting your data into Parabola before we talk about some different transformations.